So, are you ready for some shocking truths about the universe and the law of attraction? That's what we're going to get into today. So, have you ever thought about, and I'm sure you heard this before, you know, Mark, the universe is testing me. The universe is putting me through this. The universe is putting me through that. You know, the universe doesn't want me to have this. It doesn't want me to have that. You know, Mark, it's the time, you know. I'm struggling because it, is, it isn't the right time. It's taking too long. It's been years. It's been months. All of that stuff. Well, get ready for some truths. Here we go. Number one. Here's a big secret. It's not the universe that's testing you. It's not the universe that's preparing you or making you do this or that. Let's get something straight. The universe is a state of frequencies. The universe is like a binary. It's zeros and ones. So here's the answer. It, who's doing all this thing to me? Mark, I gotta, I'm being tested. Uh, you know, it's preparing me for this. I'm meeting all this stuff. Nope, it's not the universe. You know who it is? It's you. It's your own consciousness. To be specific, it's your subconscious mind. You see, what happens is when you believe something, the subconscious will do it. So when people say to themselves, you know, the universe is testing me and all that, you're testing your own self. It's your subconscious mind. See, most of the time, not even most, 99% of the time, it's the thing that you believe or what you believe about the belief, that's what you go through. So if you just if you just realize what I just said, your biggest struggle or your biggest block is your own beliefs and your subconscious. It's nothing to do with the universe. So when someone comes up and says, man, the universe is struggling me, it's a story they planted in their subconscious mind makes them struggle. So why, so why do they think it's the universe? Because that's what the collective consciousness or they hear from all different places. You know, the universe is going to show you this, it's going to show you that. And they adapt that story. So Mark, where does, it all where, where does it all come from? Why does it work like that? Well, here's the next truth about stuff. In order for you to exist or to, to create stuff, you have to be a part of a system. Let's talk quantum physics. Quantum physics works with three systems. You have to be a part of a whole system. You are part of a whole because all particles are connected. Number two, you have to have energy. So we know that everything is energy, cannot change, right? So that's the, that's the, 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 the second system. The third system now is called the observer system. So there's three systems that have to be in place for the universe to exist. The third one is the observer. Let's talk about that. The observer create perceptions. Now there's actually new research being done to show that our awareness or how we look at something is actually what creates our world, our reality. So reality in itself might not be nothing more than just a blank canvas. And when we perceive something, we manifest. So back to the thing then. So it's, why, do, why does it work this way? Why does it seem like it's a universe? Because it's a perception thing. See, when we perceive something, our subconscious mind creates a picture of reality. See that? So the thing I want you to understand, guys, I want you to get is that you are telling yourself something that unconsciously that is going to stop you. So you have to stop saying stuff that you don't want. The universe is making me struggle. I have to go through this. You really don't have to go through it. The only reason you're going through it is because you're telling the story to your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is making you go through this. You know, that leads me to what I always say. I always say, you know, it's really one simple equation. You just have to decide, do I live in a universe that's designed to serve me or do I live in a universe that's always against me? Think about that. It, all, it always brings me back to that point. So what happens is when you decide you live in a friendly universe that's designed to serve you, that's when you see the change. You know, I used to tell that same story, but then I realized how it works. So I started to tell a different story. I started seeing a different perception. I started seeing like, I don't have to struggle to get that stuff. I don't have to go through like preparing me or all that stuff. Because now I know that's a, all, all a bunch of BS. All I do now is just like, okay, that's I'm already ready. 
It's going to come to me easy and effortlessly. The work is being done. It's going to my subconscious. It doesn't go to the universe. The misconception that it's going to the universe is what confuses a lot of people because they actually think it's an outside source that's in charge of them. You are in charge of all of this. You are in charge of your own self. You are the one that's created all of this, at least 80% of it. Okay? And here's the next truth that you must understand about all of this stuff. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, one hour, two hour, three hour, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, November. None of that is in existence. None of that exists. It's human construct. We made it up. Linear time is not real. That's another truth people got to understand because here's what happens. When you think about time, I mean, I could prove it to you. I've done plenty of videos. Let me prove it to you right now. That the only time is this moment right now. Your subconscious is in charge of all your bodily functions. Homost homostatic. Metabolic states. It controls the cells in your body. It's in all areas of your life. It controls the perception. It controls the energy that it receives from the universe. So it is basically the source that creates all stuff. Why doesn't your subconscious then understand that it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Why doesn't it understand I am 25 or I'm 35? Why doesn't it understand that it's the time of the year or the month? Why doesn't it do any of that? That's because all of that doesn't exist. That was lies made up by us to make sense of our, li our lives. The subconscious only believes everything is happening right now. Not only that, but every single thing is happening simultaneously. That's a bigger pill for you to swallow because that's a little deeper than that. I have to do another video on that one. But the subconscious says everything is happening now. And not only everything's happening now, but everything's happening at the same time. It means your birth, your death, your success, all of that is happening right in this moment. But you can't comprehend it because you can only see little previews because of how slow your brain processes information. But we're, we're, we're all, we've all come and gone already. This is all gone and it goes through your dreams. That's why people have dreams and we call them, they have these, these uh, premonition dreams and they see something and it happens. That's because it already happened. So I want to give you a big tip. So when you have a desire in your heart to do something, you've already done it. <laughs> you just haven't caught up to that, what you call a timeline yet. That's a deep one. you got to uh, meditate on that one. But I don't want to get to that one right now. Let's start to st stay focused on what we're talking about here today. And it is the fact that you have to be conscious and aware of the story you're telling yourself. Because here's how the universe works. And this is the bottom line, guys. It is a frequency range. It's not an intelligent thing. You are the intelligence that's a part of that thing. The thing of the, the, the universe in general terms is the laws of nature and physics. It is a fundamental force. We call it the universe. So it works with frequencies. There's high and there's low. According to what frequency you're on, high frequency we determine as good stuff. Therefore, it converts through our collective consciousness and our perception to mean money, health, happiness, etc. Low frequency, we gave it a perception. We can consider low frequencies and we feel them. Sadness, guilt, fear, doubt, worry. All of this contribute to our perception. Now, the range of these frequencies, they go at different speeds or rate. We call them vibrations. So, when something vibrates very fast, it moves very fast, it creates momentum, it's light. That's high. So, you get to manifest. When things manifest very slow or dense, it's low. That's why you get negative and you feel down and you feel in a rut. So it's all the frequencies like zeros and ones. So you have to be aware the next time, catch yourself and stop telling yourself, well, the universe is putting me in a struggle. I have to go through this first. I have to do that. You're doing it to yourself, to your subconscious. It's very simple to fix. Change the story. Stop telling yourself you're going through struggles. Stop telling yourself it's the universe. Why don't you start to tell yourself it's the universe preparing me for my dreams quickly and effortlessly. Tell yourself, the universe is not putting me through struggles. Don't even say that. Just say, the universe is giving me what I desire. My desire is coming in quickly. In other words, stop following the masses when they're talking about, you have to do this, you have to struggle, you got to do, the universe is testing you and all that stuff. Mm -mm. It's, you it's you doing it to your own self because the belief to these masses and they put into you through the matrix. It's the belief about it. Well, maybe I'm struggling. Maybe it's this because I hear people telling me they're going through this. So my, I must go through that. The, 
The one tricky thing about the subconscious, guys, it's easily impressed. So if you hear someone talking about, you know, everyone's struggling, you have to go through the struggle too to get to their next level. And you, and you adopt that belief, you will instantly start to create in your own life. Bottom line. So I just want to give you some enlightenment to show you some things that will make you more aware so that you can be more prepared and you have more knowledge and understanding so you can manifest more successfully. Here you have it.